All right, Chris, getting into the Pitt versus West Virginia preview here. Chris, what's your thoughts on Pitt? The old backyard brawl, as they call it, Christian. This game used to be crazy, crazy um, about 15 years ago. And, and nothing against Pittsburgh, West Virginia when I say that. I know they it's still a competitive game. Uh, Pitt's one and one on the year, which kind of surprised me. I was pretty high on Pitt this year. Um, they beat Wofford week one, 45-7. They turned around, lost to Cincinnati, who's now in the Big 12, if I'm not mistaken. 21-27 in a close game last week. Um, we, 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 we know about Pitt and what they're going to do under Narduzzi, man. He wants to run the football. They, they picked up the, the Boston college transfer last year. Um, Phil Jerkovec, I think is his name, something like that. Chris, we've heard his name. He's been, he's been in college football for a while, not a bad quarterback, but, uh, they're throwing the ball a little more at Pitt than I, than I normally like, to be honest with you. This kid isn't Kenny Pickett. Let's, let's just get that out the window. Not going to have a season like that, but he's, you know, he's 27 to 55. He's got, you know, almost 400 yards, four touchdowns, no picks but only a 47% completion percentage. That's a problem. I don't like Pitt throwing the ball that much. Um, but Pitt's defense, again, always stout, right? Um, they're only giving up 250 yards a game. Um, something's going to break in this game. I know you're going to talk about West Virginia here in a second, but you know Pitt leads this series. This game seems to like it's always close. It, it, it doesn't matter what the records are. Throw them out the window. It's one of these games where I think it just doesn't matter. I think these two teams hate each other. I think it's just kind of like that, you know, I want to say Michigan, Michigan State type of rivalry. You're real close. West Virginia has owned this, though, Christian. Last, I don't like, I think 23 years, they've won like 15 or 16 times. West Virginia was supposed to be one of these, I would say, probably one of the worst teams this year in the Big 12. And you're going to enlighten me here. And I want you, I want you to tell me why. I want to. I want to hear your score prediction after this. But I, I, I the way you're smiling over there, I can kind of <laughs> tell you might be you might be doing something to me. I know that smirk. So enlighten me here on West Virginia. I know where you're going with. I almost guarantee I know you're going with this. Yeah, Chris, backyard brawl. You said it best. I mean, Pitt leads the all-time series, and I mean, you know, they they got the most recent win. But I mean, last year, if you watch that game, it was a fluky win for Pitt. I, I say fluky because. West Virginia looked really good. They had JT Daniels, best quarterback in college football history. If you watch the show, you you obviously know that whole argument. But, I mean, literally, the ball hit a uh, West Virginia wide receiver right in the hands on like a little hitch route. Pops up in the air, pick six the other way. Pitt almost kind of wins. Like, not you know, West Virginia takes it, drives all the way down, gets it in the red area, and then the game ends. They, they just didn't score, right? So, uh, kind of, I don't want to say fluky, but you know, Pitt won that game last year. They figured out a way to win it in Pitt. Uh, West Virginia, to me, Chris, though, this year, I mean, they actually held their own against a top 10 team that was yeah. Penn State, but, but they fell apart late in that one, right? I mean, it was a 20, 21 to 7 score in the third quarter, but you know, quarterback Eric Green and the Mountaineers offense, they're going to have to, they're going to have to come correct against a very tough Pitt defense, man. I mean, that secondary of Pitt looks good. Right. For what it's worth, though, I mean, the defense looked good against uh, Penn State, right? I mean, you know, for three, you know, for three quarters at least. And then they obviously the levees broke and, and they were gassed and you know, they gave up 17 points to. Here's the other thing. They gave up 17 points to FCS Duquesne last week. Wow. That's that's a little, you know, again, that's a little different for me right there. Right. On the flip side of it, Pitt's offense did look out of sorts, though, against a reload in Cincinnati. So this game might be one of those uh, – this might be one of the hardest games I feel like we've tried to predict all year, Yeah, uh, honestly. Yeah. Give me give me in a very, very close one. Uh-huh. West Virginia, 20, Pitt, 17. Yes, he finally picked the upset. Christian, <laughs> if you guys haven't known uh, so far this year, you guys might want to tail this guy in betting. He picked the Duke over Clemson last week. He, he picked Washington State. Over Wisconsin, this guy's this guy's knocking him out the park with some of these crazy upsets on this show. We we take a lot of shit for that, but uh, Christian, I'm so close with you, but the other way, I got Pittsburgh twenty in a low scoring game, West Virginia seventeen. 